It's Monday morning, February 26th, and this week is going to be about tending to business. Not as much traveling, although I don't quite know where I'm going to end up. Uh, since I'm departing to head out west in two weeks, I just need to make sure that everything is taken care of. Uh, logistics, stuff like that. Right now, I am heading to New Jersey. Uh, Stortsville, New Jersey, OK Auto, four-wheel drive and tire to connect with my friends out there one last time before I head out west. So, they, they look pretty intense. Yeah, the ADVs is what they are. ADVs. Yeah, so they're fully adjustable off the side. So, however you want to set the light up, angle wise, everything else, all LED. Weight's pretty, yeah, pretty substantial on it. So, yeah. I don't know if you want to put that on your stock one or not. Unless you want to try the smaller ones and we can go from there. Smaller ones based off the same concept, fully adjustable, two adjustment on it, stainless hardware with it and everything. So, Keeping it simple. Are you surprised? All well, these hot dog rolls are rubbish. It's hard not to walk out of OK Four Wheel Drive without a wish list. I'd really like to have off road lights. I just have the factory lights right now and they aren't that useful at night. I avoid driving at night. Some uh, off-road lights would really change that. Um, one of those outback tables that uh, attaches to the inside of your tailgate and then swings down, that'd be great. I wouldn't have to set up my, my camp table quite as much. Um, a spare tire carrier. Still a mission critical piece of equipment. I'm thinking long and hard about it. It's a budget thing. Uh, waking up in Stortsville, New Jersey at OK Four Wheel Drive. My sleeping bag smells like onions. Hey Siri, set timer for four minutes.
All right, I'm not leaving OK four-wheel drive empty-handed. I didn't purchase anything personally as much as I need a tire carrier, but I am taking with me a couple products to uh, test and to blog about. So starting with these Vision X ADV, no, they're uh, six inch Vision X Canon ADV lights. They're brand new to the market and um, they seem to be really cool. In addition to these, I'll be installing that pronghorn bumper, and that's not new to the market. However, I have a personal interest in pronghorn. Uh, I like their design philosophy, their aluminum construction, and their styling. Uh, so I think that will be right at home on the Jeep. It's very light and very sturdy. Hey, that's not going anywhere. I'm going to install that in my parents' driveway. I lost my coffee. Where did I put my coffee? All right. Bumper swap. How hard can it be? The upper inner nut on the driver's side is hard to reach because there's bracketry in the way. So I have to put a traditional wrench on it and uh, it's time consuming. Removing the factory front bumper is as easy as removing four bolts from each side. There's um, four on each frame rail and then disconnecting the factory fog lights. Speaking of factory fog lights, I have to get those out of there so I can put them in the pronghorn bumper. I wasn't quite sure how to install the fog light bracket or how to assemble the fog light bracket and I checked Pronghorn's website and they have fantastic documentation. This is great. Fog light brackets are all installed. They go, uh, they go in there like that. Cool. Bolt it up. In the event that I ever get a winch, well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But who needs a winch when you've got light? Right? No. It's bright and early, uh, Wednesday morning, February 28th. I'm gonna get back at it, install the pronghorn bumper, all that's left to do really is to bolt it to the frame and to run the wiring harness for the Vision X lights. These Vision X lights are sold individually and also so is the wiring harness, but they have a nice complete wiring harness. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to have to do much cutting or splicing and uh, should be relatively easy. These lights have a solid construction. 
nice sturdy bracketry, adjustable, beefy wiring, and that is a pigtail for the LED halo, which I'll show you later. I'll circle back and tighten those up really hard. All right, this makes it official. I really love pronghorn. I dig the utilitarian styling, um, the weight savings, the aluminum construction, the fit and finish were phenomenal. Uh, if I was to recommend anything to pronghorn, I would say create a version of this bumper that has the winch embedded between the frame rails. Currently they have a mounting plate for top of the bumper and I could go either way, but I know people generally prefer the winch being down low. Um, pronghorn probably has a reason for it, but I dig this a lot and I want more pronghorn on my Jeep for sure. That's a wrap for the bumper install and the factory fog light wiring. Now I just have to pop the hood and run the wiring harness for the Vision X lights. Right off the bat, I can see that the Vision X wiring harness is going to be great for a quick and dirty install. But if I had time, resources, and skill, I would, I think I would prefer to make my own. All right, I pulled the air box and the air intake assembly, just to give me easier access to this front area through which to route this wiring harness. It's the wiring for the switch. I think there's going to be just enough length to get it to the dashboard. And that needs to go through here. Uh, there's a channel behind here and a foam plug in the firewall that uh, grants perfect access to the cabin. So what I'm going to do is take this wooden dowel and poke it right through foam plug. And here you can see it came right through the other side. So I will use this to feed my switch through. Ready. Cool, thank you. All right. Wasn't pretty, but it's through. I've got the wiring all routed and hooked up for the Vision X lights. I'm happy with how it came out. Um, it's all well concealed. It, my engine bay really looks the same uh, that it did before I installed the wiring. Did a lot of tucking right here. So this cavity here is the messy spot. If you're, if you're not counting the overall dirty condition of my engine bay. Uh, but got it hooked up to the dual battery system and wiring is routed cleanly down through the front. Now the next thing to do is test it. All right, let there be light. <laughs> awesome. 
I still have a lot of work to do yet. Uh, I have to put together the engine bay, uh, the front grille. I have to wire the halo LEDs, which is uh, a nice little effect that the lights have that I'll show you later. Uh, and I have to install the switch in the dashboard. And I have to aim the lights. What I'm doing is splicing into the factory fog lights to activate the um, halo LED feature on these Vision X lights. Left side, right side. Vision X lights have these really groovy uh, halo LEDs. Uh, they're cosmetic, essentially daytime running lights. I'm not usually into that sort of thing, but they're a feature of the lights. It's a very functional light and I dig it. I dig it a lot. And that is the full ensemble. I have to admit, back on Monday, I didn't expect this week to be all about installing new gear. I dig it though. I'm excited to test these things out. The Vision X lights are new to the market. They're uh, 6.7 6 inch LED ADV cannons. And um, they have that really cool halo effect that you're looking at now. And also, that's a pronghorn front bumper, which has been on the market for a little bit now, uh, but it's a really cool piece of kit. Um, this week is going to be, well, this week and next week will be about preparation for our extended travel, which commences on March 12th, if all goes according to plan. So at which point things are gonna pick up around here and uh, we'll be traveling westward around the country anywhere wandering where the wind blows just like last year uh, so the excitement is high um thank you guys so much for your support of jennifer langill and photos at unite uh, she got a lot of help this past week and uh, we both can't couldn't be more appreciative so thank you um, as usual, thank you guys for following along, and I hope you've enjoyed the journey in between.